question 8, I want you to find all the solutions in the interval 0 to 2 pi for the following equations. We have 2 sine x plus 1 equals 0 for a, and 3 tan x minus 3 equals 0 for b. For part a, we need to first solve for sine of x, so we get 2 sine of x equals negative 1, sine of x equals negative 1 half, so x equals sine inverse of negative 1 half. From here, we can go to our unit circle. We'll erase the work we have on here already. And we're looking for x equals sine inverse of negative 1 half. Basically, we're asking for what angles will our sine value be negative 1 half. Since sine is vertical distance and it's negative, it means we're in this lower half of our circle. I look around and I see that my y coordinates of negative one half occur here and here. So my answers are seven pi six or eleven pi six. Or depending on what mode you're in, two hundred and ten degrees, three hundred and thirty degrees. Please make sure you're familiar with both. There's no telling what version or what mode the test is going to be in. But what I get here now there we go is that x is either now going back to our unit circle we see 7 pi over 6 or 11 pi over 6 and that's in radians or the angle can be 210 degrees or 330 degrees, and that's our degree mode. Since it's on 2 pi, I'm assuming we're going to go with radians here. Those are our two values for sine. Let's look at part B. Here I want to know for 3 tan x minus 3 equals 0. Again, I want to solve for tan of x, so I get 3 times the tan of x equals a positive 3, tan x equals 1, which means x equals tan inverse of 1. Remember, tangent of x is sine of x over cosine x. So if tangent is 1, that means sine of x and cosine x have to have the same exact value. If we go to our unit circle, sine and cosine have the same values Let's go around. Nope, not there. We have them there. Not here because cosine is negative but sine is positive. There we go. So this occurs at pi fourths and five pi fourths. Thus, x must be five pi or pi fourths or five pi fourths.